Did you know that the law allows only adult male members of a family to accept court summons if the person to whom it's issued isn't at home to receive it? As per section 64 of the Code of Criminal Procedure, summons are to be served on any adult male member of the defendant's family. Section 64 of the CRPC deals with service when persons summoned cannot be found and stipulates as follows. Where the person summoned cannot by the exercise of due diligence be found, the summons may be served by leaving one of the duplicated for him with some adult male member of his family residing with him and the person with whom the summons is so left shall, if so required by the serving officer, sign a receipt thereof on the back of the other duplicate. Labeling this particular provision as discriminatory against women, a petition has been filed in the Supreme Court of India challenging its constitutional validity. The Supreme Court of India has now agreed to examine this provision. A Supreme Court bench comprising Chief Justice D.Y. Chandrachur and Justice Hima Kohli has issued notice to the central government returnable for four weeks. The petitioner has contended that Section 64 of the CRPC discriminates against women by treating female members of a family incapable of accepting summons on behalf of the person summoned. The Supreme Court has also been apprised that while the Civil Procedure Code enacted in 1908 requires the summons to be served on any adult member of the defendant's family, regardless of their gender, the CRPC which was enacted after 65 years of the CPC is archaic and dogmatic. As per the petition, the exclusion of female family members to receive summons on behalf of the summoned person violates the women's right to equality guaranteed to them under Articles 14 and 15 of the Constitution of India, the right to know guaranteed to them under Article 19, Clause 1, Subclause A of the Constitution and the right to dignity guaranteed to them under Article 21 of the Constitution of India. It has also been argued that the provision also jeopardizes the victim's right to a speedy trial guaranteed to them under Article 21 of the Constitution. As per the petition, apart from significantly delaying the proceedings, Section 64 of the CRPC creates hardships for other relevant stakeholders as well. Additionally, the petition states that the provision fails to account for the following situations. Number one, when the person summoned resides only with the female family members. And number two, when the only person available at the time of the service of summons is a female. Furthermore, the petitioner has also contended that the possibility of these particular situations arising is very high in light of the stark gender gap in the workforce between the males and the females, that is, only 22% of the Indian women are at work, which entails that the remaining 78% of women are at home. Thank you. I'm Aratrika Bhomik for Live Law. Keep watching Live Law for more such updates.